Hi right, fellas, I know it's been a while since I shot a video for you, but here's going to be a quick video on how to replace the front brakes on my Banshee. I also have a video coming up with a re-gear. I'll explain the gear ratios and all that kind of stuff and the pros and cons to doing each. But as for the brakes, um, pretty simple to do. You'll need a 14mm socket, 12mm socket, a screwdriver, a 4.5mm Allen key, and uh, some lube, and possibly some brake fluid. Um, and then a jack stand to hold it up with. So there's the part number. If I can get that to come out. I just picked up uh, heavy duty um, pads from uh, Rocky Mountain ATV. Here's my old ones. There's the thickness on the old ones. Almost nothing left. It was almost metal on metal. And then there's the thickness on the new ones. So don't wait that long to replace them. Uh, my Banshee's a 2004, and this is the first set I've put on them, and I've gone through three top ends and a bottom end, so just to give you an idea, and I'm pretty hard on the brakes too. So they do last, but don't wait that long to replace them. So the first thing I did was prop it up on the jack stand, just to give it enough room for where that, that tire will spin, and then it's a 14 millimeter um, socket to get that tire off. With the tire off, that's what you're looking at. you got a spacer plate here. And that's the caliper itself. It's going to be uh, the four and a half millimeter Allen key. The first thing you want to do is get these both loose. Those are the pins that go through the holes in that brake pad to hold it in place. Um, I used a little bit of, uh, it's called AeroCroil, and it's basically like a penetrating lubricant. It works great. Um, spray some of that on there, and it'll loosen it up. And then after you get these two bolts uh, loosened, but don't take them out yet then you can remove that bolt down there and this bolt up here and they're both 12 millimeter now depending on how worn your pads are you might need to loosen these two screws and allow some of the brake fluid to leak out of the reservoir make sure you have some rags handy because brake fluid is pretty toxic stuff so don't let it sit on your plastic wipe it up clean it up real good now to make the job a lot simpler I just uh, pulled the um, debris shield in a little bit and just bent it just ever so slightly that quarter inch or so and then pull the bottom part of the caliper out and then the top will slide right out underneath you might need to compress the caliper just grab the whole caliper and push it against itself on the piston to get the uh, brake pad so you should already have these two four and a half millimeter allen key uh, screws loose just go ahead and take those out the rest of the way now I like to do a setup similar to this. I just stack the old brake pads in there. The uh, cylinder there is hollow, the piston is hollow. So that it gives it uh, the clamp something to clamp onto. So put the two old pads in there and then get some kind of C-clamp or something along those lines. And then you wanna compress that all the way back to up against the uh, caliper. Also, it's a good time to make sure that the bracket here floats free with those uh, rubber grommets and make sure that they're greased underneath there. There's some of that brake fluid dripping out, like I said, would happen. So make sure you get that cleaned up before it stains anything. I just sprayed it down with some brake cleaner, get the caliper nice and clean. Make sure that the piston and the uh, bracket are both free from the caliper. Uh, there's the new pads. Uh, make sure the pins that hold the new pads in are clean. I'm going to use a wire brush on that to make sure that it's free of debris and everything. And then I put a tiny bit of uh, anti-seize on these screws just to make them a little bit easier to get out the next time I replace them. There's the best uh, angle I can give you on the install. Put the two pins back in, make sure the holes are uh, lined up. I put one pin in and snug it up and then push down on this side of the pad to compress the spring in the back and uh, make sure it lines up and then snug them both down and you'll finish tightening them, tightening them after the caliper is remounted onto the uh, now you slide the two pads apart from each other and then put that caliper on the same way that you took it off. And then you're going to want to make sure you have brake pressure, give it a few squeezes, let it build up pressure, and then I have resistance on it. Check your brake fluid level, top it off as needed, and then uh, put your tire back on.